So I'm swaddling a baby right now because we got a very important new recommendations for the first time in five years they just came out with them. And this is really important because it saves lives because every year we lose 3,500 babies with really things that could be preventable deaths. So there's these new recommendations on sleeping, swaddling, which has been a minute for me, so I'm still trying to do that, breastfeeding pacifiers, and we brought in an expert, Dr. Denise Wynn Baker, a pediatrician over at Einstein. Good morning, thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you, Karen. I appreciate you having me here. Well, I think this is so important because when we're dealing with babies, I feel like these things change all the time. My sister has a five-month-old baby, and she was talking about swaddling, and I had the information wrong on that. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. So the first recommendations they always talk about um, is with where, how we have our babies sleep. They want us on a flat surface, where, so we'll come over here to this uh, little play sleeper. And they've been telling us for some time, get everything out of there. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay. So the key is to provide a safe sleep environment for the baby to prevent um, risk of SIDS or sleep-related injuries and death. So we want so. the baby back to sleep, and they've been telling us that for some time, and um, on a flat surface, no inclines and nothing in there at all. No, no sleep things, no dolls. Correct. Correct. The mattress should be firm, okay? The baby should be on his or her back, okay? One key or one thing to check is if the mattress, if you push on the mattress and there's an indentation, it's too soft. So you want a firm mattress, uncluttered crib, nothing in the crib, no soft toys, bears, uh, crib pads, pillows, blankets nothing in the crib. All right, so that a lot of that we um, knew, but I think it's interesting because they're really talking, there's a lot of things that used to be sort of sleepers when I had my babies. Um, we know that these aren't designed really for sleeping. These are just for sitting our baby in, but they're coming down really hard on any of these rockers and bouncers right now saying, do not leave your baby under the age of four months sleeping in any of these. Yes, absolutely. Supervision is key. However, any incline greater than 10 degrees is a no-no. It's out because, I'm just gonna move in here, because mm -hmm. the baby can flop his or her head forward, obstructing the airway and suffocating. So you do not want to have your baby sleeping in any type of uh, bouncer or infant seat or anything like that. That has a 10 degree or greater incline. So they want the babies in your room for the first six months, maybe longer, so you can there, but not in your bed. That's been the recommendation. Yes. They're, that they're not too big on the co-sleeping yes. at all. Same room, different beds. So I think what's also interesting, so my baby has, uh, my baby, my sister has this cute baby, um, and she's, he's approaching six months, and she unswaddles him now, because she uh, puts him in a sleep sack. So the difference between a swaddle and a sleep sack is obviously that their hands are free, as opposed to this little baby that way you have right here. And I'm like, oh, no, no, you can swaddle them all the way up to one year. I think that they have swaddles that go up to one year. She's like, not anymore. What changed there? Correct, correct. Um, as far as swaddling goes, you want to uh, make sure that you remove them from that swaddle blanket before the before they start rolling over. And actually, once they start lifting their head, it's usually about one month of age. Then you can move them into a sleeper. And the sleep, so this is the swaddle, and the example right here is it keeps their hands down, which helps them to sleep, and they don't have like like little startle things that happen. But once they start to be able to roll over, that's why you know you want them to be able to get those hands free so they could they have some support for that one. So I thought that was really new and interesting. Um, also, they talk about things that are helpful for not having sudden infant death, breastfeeding. They're really recommending if you can up into at least two months to help supplement at least. Yes, or even longer. The antibodies are really important for the immune system, so breastfeeding is, has always been a yes. So if you can, that's a good thing to do. A pacifier is the recommending, why? Yes, you can, they can sleep with a pacifier, and that's because when they suck on the pacifier, the tongue moves forward. It um, no longer obstructs their, the back of their mouth and throat, the mm -hmm. oral pharynx area, and allows them to breathe. So that's okay for them to suck on a pacifier. And of course we know that they always recommend that the babies have tummy time. Why, what's the importance of that? Yeah, tummy time is to increase their muscle control for their back muscles, okay, their neck muscles, so they can learn to do the, that next step, which is rolling over. However, sleeping, the back is best. 
So they're not actually recommending, and they were very popular, those like uh, monitors, like an outlet, like any of those other ones. There's many, many different companies that make them. Why are they not recommending using those? Yes, the sleeping safety monitors are not recommended for a number of things. It has not been shown to decrease the incidence of SIDS, and in addition, it it allows parents to have a false sense of security. The, so I did co-sleep with my babies um, back in the day, but they're recommending not because they say that you could roll over, suffocate your baby if you have problems and you're like sleep deprived, if, you're, if you drank too much, if you took any substances, that it really puts the babies at risk. Absolutely. So, and they also say additionally, if you had a, like a low um, birth weight baby, that like these are just, they put your children at width and it's not worth it. You never wanna lose a child for something that's totally preventable. Yes, absolutely. High risk babies, um, all babies, you should not co-sleep. They do, rec when they send you home from the hospital, often your baby has that cute little hat on. I found mm -hmm. that this was really interesting. They say, don't sleep with the hats. Your babies really don't need the hats um, if you have them, you know, just in a little sleep sack like this, which is like a safe recommended thing, or one of these cute um, swaddles. They don't need the hats anymore. Like we always see, like the little grandmothers yes, knit them. They're yes. so cute. Yes, the hats are cute, but we really want nothing in the crib with them. Make sure they can breathe. Those items can, the baby can move around with their hands. The items can kind of fall in their face and they can suffocate. Thank you so much, Doctor. This is really great. So the, again, the new recommendations, back to sleep, nothing in your crib, hard surface. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you.